good. Thank you. Um, there is a children's poem that goes, For the want of a nail, the kingdom was lost. In the British referendum, for the want of education and information, especially in our media, to fight the anti-European propaganda of years and years, especially by foreign-owned uh, media bosses. For the want of governments that recognise the widening gaps in society, the haves and the have-nots and the left-behinds. For the want of truth. This referendum campaign was packed with exaggerations, threats, damn downright lies. For the want of all these things and more, the referendum was lost. And I, like the 48% who voted to stay in, am heartbroken. We've been overwhelmed, though, by the support from friends across the EU who wanted us to stay. But I'm heartbroken most for the young who will miss their opportunities. Heartbroken for the entrepreneurs who see doors closing. Heartbroken for scientists who see horizons shrinking. For businesses, for farmers, for bankers and the rest whose future is now so uncertain. I'm heartbroken. But it was all lost. In the UK, we must mend our politics into chaos and embarrassment um, and packed with hate. But we must move our politics into the 21st century and we must have a general election soon. We cannot allow a, a one single party to decide the leader of our country. The 48% must not be forgotten. And as a Liberal Democrat, I am a pro-European and I will continue to be pro-European and will fight for that. And we need to sort out our relationship with the EU. Europe, EU, we will miss you. You have your own work to do to adjust and to go forward. But this was not just a wake-up call for the UK. Please don't ignore what happened in the UK. Take your people with you. Thank you.